That Starbucks Frappuccino? I want to shop. Oh, that thing. Yeah. I'm like, you don't get morning, Frappuccinos. If I drink that little bottle yeah. of Starbucks about halfway through, I'm like, oh, because I'm watching Floss Tube. Oh, I like that. You know what? I want to buy that every single day. That happens to me. I think they put something in it. Because, um, it always makes my stomach up, so I don't drink it. I, I can hardly ever drink the whole thing, and when I do, it, it makes me sick. But you're right, halfway through, or like once you get through the neck, yeah. like once you start hitting yeah. right there, you just get really happy yes. and positive, yes. and you're like, the world is my yes. oyster, I can do whatever I want, let's yes. get that, let's go do yes. that, let's go out there and do this today. But then yes. by the end, I'm like, I'm like because <laughs> I went through a hundred pages of one, two, three steps trying to find something. All I had to do was drink some coffee and it would have been like, mine, yes. mine, 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 mine. Like this morning I had no problems. I was like, oh, I like a few things. That's I went to ABC. I always say ABC stitch. I mean one, two, three. I remember I kept asking you. It's yeah. probably my fault because I kept saying, is it ABC or one, well, two, No, the ABC three. is ABC. the scammy one that may or may not send you stuff. One, two, three. A B C one two three you and me baby you and me yeah. Please don't use that. That is so the intro. I saw halfway through your face was like oh no yeah. this is being you. Oh crap! <laughs> don't use this. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm Melissa, and this is Stitching at the Cabin. Do, 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 do. Today is um, Wednesday, the 16th of October. Yeah, of 2019. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look, I remember to say it at the beginning this time. <laughs> but you won't see this on Wednesday. I don't know when you'll see it. No. So Sorry. we'll do the usual things we worked on and then a few mm -hmm. other odds and ends and things. Keto has not changed much. Look, Still there's more black. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of black. I'm doing about 100 stitches a day and not because I don't want to do more I just really haven't had the time and I haven't been home with the cabin an extra day and so yeah but I'm obviously still working down I need to snag nab at that I think I said it last time and I didn't do it working my way down but look there's a lot more this time <laughs> some of you are going oh I can't stand that look at all that but yeah about uh 100 stitches a day that's not a lot but at the same time I mean it's it's Something. progress. You know what I really like about Pattern Keeper? What? <laughs> this is stupid, okay? <laughs> yeah, I can tell by your little giggle. <laughs> <laughs> when you highlight like all the things that you've done, mm -hmm. and then you hit that little button. Go. <laughs> if you have the, the thing, like say key 310, open. yeah, huh? if you have the key open, and you say 310, and you hit that, you watch oh, that number go down. Oh, it's like the discounts at Vaughn's. Yeah. <laughs> like you put in your card number, and you're like, yeah. go, and it's like, boom. You can see like the 310 goes down oh, by how many stitches you did. Yeah. And I was thinking last night, how oh. fun is it going to be when you get closer to the end and the colors start saying zero? Yeah. And then you'll know you're done with that color. It oh. won't even be like a, well, maybe there's one hiding. You're right. Yeah. I love that. In cheaper. eight years, we're going to be very <laughs> excited. You speak to yourself. I got like 20 on this. <laughs> anyway, Keto. I'm getting really close to moving to the. the the Q snap, so you get to see the whole <laughs> she thing. Keep saying it. No, I had to move this um, uh, needle minder. Needle minder, yeah, because it was it was in the way. So see, one one needle minder moved. We've only got seventy oh, more to go. <laughs> My shadowing. Hopefully, you can see stuff. I got a lot done. I did do a lot up here. All I have left before this whole thing is done, besides beads, because I can't bead until the end, is just to finish in the tops. Right along there. But let me tell you the stupid thing I did this week. Because, you know, those stupid shadow lane problems for me every week because I think I can do anything and then I realize I probably could if I paid more attention to what I was doing. When she's done, I'll show you what I did. And then undid. And then <laughs> redid. I was just going to pause real quick and say that's the spot that you were saying you need yeah. to finish those tops right up there. Yeah. But otherwise this whole top, this section of the top section is done. Minus the beads. Minus the beads. But back stitching and everything. Okay, okay. what did you do? Okay, so the instruction said to take... Don't blame the instructions. Was... <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so not blaming the instructions. 
The instruction said to take the stroke, like, color, not, not a color like that. It may have been that color, I don't know, but take the stroke color and do vertical stripes, one long stitch. Well, I knew I was in this area and I, for some reason, was thinking vertical. Oh, I'll go across this way. I did that on the whole thing. It's three plies of, of the silk. And then I finished it and I was like, that's darker than I thought. I mean, it looks nice, but that's a little odd, but whatever. So I got to the next step and it was like, okay, now use three ply and, no, one ply, single ply and weave. And I'm thinking, how am I gonna weave? That doesn't make any sense. How do you weave? So I looked on the internet and everything was light colored and I realized vertical is up and down. I mean, I know that. I'm not stupid. She's really smart. She really, <laughs> she really is. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I think I was just so excited that I was going to get to do these long stitches that it didn't, I didn't realize I had to do the up and down ones first. I didn't so. realize until you said it that it was weaved. It is. It's so over and up, like down, up, down, like over and over and over. And then I just did everyone opposite because, I mean, that's... Seems right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, just that little thing. Then I have to decide, do I want to do the next step, which is the same thing this way, but just different flowers. Or am I going to get bored doing that all the way around and have to keep moving the Q-snap? Maybe I just do the big square right there or the top. The, the, actually, the top of the project is just right up there. So I don't know. Hmm. I have to decide what I'm going to do. I kind of feel like you should do this side. Because you're not totally fed up with this yet, right? So you could do know. this side, and then you could do this whole corner. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Options. Options. Have a finish. I know I was supposed to work on Villa Mila. Nah, nah, nah. Villa Mirabilia. There you go. And I did. I did. But Saturday we were at the cabin and oh the train! Yes, you did! You yeah. saw the train! Choo <laughs> choo! There it is. A cabin. My husband had found out a few months ago that the big boy Flirty Fourteen was going to be chugga 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 chugging through the Cajon Pass, which is really close to the cabin. It's like right between the house and the cabin. And so he put it on the calendar and said, hey, we should go. Well, you know, it gets closer and closer, and I'm like, ooh, a train, ooh. <laughs> like, we're not ooh. train people, you know? He's not either. But it's a historic train. It's a giant... It's a steam train, right? Yeah, it used to run on coal, and then they converted it so it's oil, but it still puffs out stuff, and it's got all these things on the wheels, and it's it's big, and it's the only one that's still operational. All the rest is like I think a dozen others, and they're all in museums. This is the only one that they've taken out and restored, and it runs. We we put, and I took. Shh, that was rude. I don't want you to see the finish. I took I took this because it's uh, snow faces just Nan, because I thought, okay. The train's supposed to be there sometime between 10 and 11. We don't know when it's going to actually get there. There's an app, but I mean, <laughs> you don't know. That's cool. And so I thought, well, okay, it's not what I thought. Mike, my husband, kept saying, we're locals. We know the local routes. We're going to be like the only ones there. And I was like, I don't think so. And we're driving those people all along the tracks, like everywhere. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. So we finally get to the spot. And there were only like three or four people. He was like, see? I'm like, this is awesome. So we're sitting in the car. I'm getting ready to get this out. Some guy walks up to the window. We roll it down. He's like, hey, you can hear to watch the train? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just like to park in obscure <laughs> spots by train tracks. And stitch. <laughs> so uh, he's like, you know, they just ran a bunch of people off. Do you think they're going to let us off? And we're like, no, you just have to be 25 feet away from the tracks. And we would well over 25 feet. He's like, oh, okay. So he walks off and he comes back a little bit later and he says, this isn't a good spot. And we're like, why? And at this point we'd gotten out and we were standing at the edge of the tracks and he's like, well, he starts to tell us why. And this big honking freight train comes through. <laughs> and I mean, we're at this point, 25 feet away. I mean, it is, it is loud. It is 
I could almost touch it. I know 25 feet. I know I can't almost touch it, but it feels like I could touch it. And we're like it's at so the level. Massive. Yeah. You feel like you can get sucked yeah. in. Yeah. Well, you know, this high above it, like that's it. It's it's right there. And this is coming through and he's because he's coming up to the, the intersection. Intersection thing. And I look up at the the engineer. Conductor? Engineer. The conductor's one with the watch. The engineer, I think. Yeah. Whoever's driving the choo choo train. And he's blinking, like up, and I'm like, I was like, I don't know. And, then, and so the guy tells us, but this is a long freight train. He's, it's long. So he's yelling at us. It turns out the train's gonna be on the track up above. And I was like, I thought there were only three tracks, and we're looking at three tracks. He's like, it's the one above. And I'm like, oh, that's why it was pointing up. So we get in the car, and, and that little road continues on, and it crosses the, that extra track. There are people everywhere. This is not a secret. No, you were just in the no. wrong place. So we drive down the dirt road, and we park, and we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we to get try to, to get away from people. Well, yeah, and the, to try to get a good spot because yeah. we want to sort of see down into the valley, yeah. and we want to see maybe where the track turns. I don't know. So we yeah. walk, and we find the spot, and we're standing there, and then Mike's like, "I think we should walk a little further. I think it, it's a better spot." Okay. I mean, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> and I'm in the sun. And I'm a sun... I'm a sunburn. <laughs> I was going to say I'm a sunflower. I was going to say I'm a redhead that sunburns, but I'm a sunburn. There's way more accurate. I'm a sunburn. <laughs> I just am a sunburn. <laughs> yeah. So we walk a little further. And this guy yells to us, hey, come up here with us. And I, I mean, it's up. And I was like, mm, I don't think I can get up there. He's like, no, you can go around. He's like, there's a whole bunch of Japanese tourists up here. That's a really <laughs> odd thing to yell. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I like, mean, I have candy. <laughs> I have Japanese tourists. So we get to the end and I turn around and look up and sure as heck, there's a whole flock of Japanese tourists up there and then this one guy and uh, they've all got the big camera zoom yeah. tripod things and I, I tell, tell Mike I'm like I don't want to go up there and I, I'm not racist I don't That's have a problem with not Japanese, Japanese tourists it's because it's steep and it's angled I guess that's what steep means <laughs> it's kind of narrow and they're all there with the cameras there would be no place to stand I would have to I wouldn't see. If I got behind them, I couldn't see. And if I was in front, they couldn't see. They'd just see yeah. me. So we kept walking. And we went up this little incline off to the side, totally opposite side from them. And we found, like, the perfect spot. Mm -hmm. So we're standing there looking, just like, yeah, yeah, because we can see down into the valley. And it's amazing. And I heard, hey! Hey! And I turned. And it's the guy that told us about the Japanese tourists. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're in on a shot. You need to move. Oh, awkward. So we walked down the tracks a ways more, and then oh, I thought we found a spot, and then he was like, you know, I think it was better that, like, every time we picked a spot, I think this is better, I think that, we walked and walked and walked and walked. We crossed the tracks so many times, and the tracks were not easy to cross, because they're not flat like they look. You have to go up the, the rocky, yeah. gravelly embankment, step through the tracks, don't get killed. That makes me nervous because I'm one of those people that follows the rules. I am a real follower. I am not a rule breaker. And I'm like, we're not supposed to be this close to the tracks. This is <laughs> not right. So I'm like, let's go. He's like standing on the tracks looking at me. I'm like, get down. <laughs> so we get back over and we finally pick a spot. And this is where we're going to stay. And I want to be up on the little side of the hill. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be close to the train. Right. But he wants to stand 24 feet is what <laughs> he told me. <laughs> so I'm like, just help me up this little hill. And I mean, it's... Okay, it's got to be more than that. It's like maybe that. It's not that high. Yeah. But I can't get up it because the rock is loose <laughs> yeah. and I keep sliding. I actually fell. I tumbled down a hill that high. And I am sure that all the people that saw me were giggling hysterically. I'm probably on camera <laughs> They refocused their cameras on down you. A hill. And he's looking at me like, what is wrong with you? And I'm just like, help me up the hill. So I get up, I sit down, I dust myself all off and, and we wait. But I didn't bring this at that point because... Dirty. It, yeah, and we had walked so we far. And I, yeah, so... 
train came I have pictures I'll steal his video he we made an agreement he would video I would take still pictures I think that worked out because I got some pretty dang good pictures <laughs> scary loud train I was shaking by the time it went past I was like that was loud and <laughs> we were close <laughs> so we walked the 200 miles back got in the the Cadillac and went back to the cabin and you have a few stops in between so when I took this out of the Cadillac I was like I'm gonna work on this I know I said I was gonna work on Villa Mirabilia but I'm gonna work on that because you kind of already committed to it yeah. telepathically you're yeah. like hey I'm gonna take you out and work on you right now and then and then you I did, did it. it. Yeah. So we had a lot to do. We did stuff. Um, so I worked on it a little bit. And then I ended up having, this is, this is stupid. I ended up having to take migraine medicine. I take Excedrin migraine. It's the only thing that works. Because the, adre the adrenaline rush from the, from the, the loud train. Because <laughs> it's killing me. You're it's such loud. a delicate creature. The and sun it was all that sun. And I kept looking at the train. <laughs> So I, I so ended up delicate. taking Excedra Migraine, but I didn't take it until 4 or 5 o'clock. And I'm really sensitive to caffeine. So I was still awake at midnight. Because I texted you about something and you answered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Why are you awake? awake? So I actually finished it. I finished it in the dark. I have a, a little cap thing with these little lights. It's like a camouflage. I think it's for the hunting, like, maybe. I was going to say for like miners. Yeah. The mining. Yeah. Lights. It's got two lights that aim down and it, it, it works because I was completely in the dark. So I finished this. Like, oh my gosh, to, it's tiny. Yeah, you're going to have to use your phone. What? I didn't realize it was so yeah. small. Yeah, it didn't look that small until I took it out of the Q-snap. No. And then I was like, whoa. You could do a million on this I fabric. I could. I could. I'll show you how long the fabric is. But that's it. Wow. How cute. <laughs> That's so overkill. And I have a ton of leftover floss, so yeah, wow. I could do this a few more times if I wanted to. But anyway, I, I have it. a finish. That's great. Then I have one more that I will have done, and then you should make some ornaments with those. I would totally hang that on my tree. Yeah, you put that on a backing. Know. That's Maybe. super cute. Make a bunch of them. Do it eight more times <laughs> for my tree, and then you gotta do some for yours. <laughs> Last thing, and then it's all you. Well, it's not all you, because I have no. all, and <laughs> it's 30 I have, seconds of me. I have a problem. Um, so I worked on Philomelabilia. I worked down on the crash. You're definitely going to have to take a picture of this, because yeah. I took a picture, but I had started on it when I took a picture. So. Oh, here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah that's what I did, that whole thing. Stay still. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. cool yeah that's a lot of white by the way yeah it is it, that's all just that's all white yeah and There's i wanted different colors. to backstitch the letters so you could read them and fill mm. in down here i was missing 938 mm. how it got out of here i don't know but i found i i scavenged one from keto well, that's good. last night and put it in here so i'll have Odd. it the next time i work on it yeah so Odd. yeah there she is. That's cool. In all her giant gloriousness. Oops. So I've decided to go just go ahead and do her name. The That's what it sounded like. like. Yeah. You decided. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that works. There you go. So that means um, I have time at school because usually I use my lunch break to do homework. But yesterday, today, <laughs> tomorrow, and what I will do tomorrow <laughs> is uh, bring my sewing to lunch. Well, to school and then do it at lunchtime. Um, so I just wanted to show you how I do it because it kind of scares me. Um, and I don't necessarily say this is the best way to transport your work, but for larger pieces, it is harder 
to move them around, which is why all of your pieces are stationary. Not all of them. <laughs> all the big ones are stationary the for biggest. the most part. Yeah. And I, I try to keep mine stationary. But um, I got this Cal Poly bag during my uh, first semester here. It might even say transfer. Does it not say? Mm. They gave us a lot of transfer swag for being a transfer student. So I got this for free. So I put my canvas on top. Canvas. My canvas. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and then I have a snag nabbit. And then I have my. Mm. My uh, really expensive eight dollar box. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then so this leans against this in here, so that way it keeps it diagonal and away from the wall of the bag. So those that didn't watch that, I think it was the first one with the loud bird, you should open oh, yeah. it so they can see. Sure. So this is my Paco box. There was no other option on Amazon. There might still be no other option. Not sure. Um, but on the inside, <laughs> there's a lot of threads. It's okay. They're not tangled. I'm sorry. Um, there's my Paco. So it has, I keep, I keep all of the colors for the most part that I'm using, if they're not attached, um, then they're here. So that way when I encounter that color again, I can literally just pull them out and just start and I don't have to re-thread a needle. So there's probably 70 needles in here, maybe at this point. Um, so I bring this with me. And this is obviously, it's not a necessity if you like didn't really want to bring it because you could just re-thread a needle. But. And then, I pull out from my goodie bag, my tablet, which is next, and then my um, container of stuff, of Gloss. colors. <laughs> yeah. It's always pretty to look at. Oh, yeah, I'll show you again just because it's pretty to look floss. at. <laughs> Box of floss. So, that's how I keep it all safe and in the bag. we put all the cut out the code things yeah. and put them there that Which way. Which is kind of irrelevant now with Pattern Keeper. Yeah, but if you weren't using Pattern Keeper, yeah, I still use that sometimes. I like looking at it though because it's pretty to look at, but I don't use it anymore. Um, so that's how I keep everything safe in this bag. But anyways, let me just kind of stack this all up in here real quick. Um, so that being said, the only time I really had to stitch on this was today, earlier. I didn't get that much done. Pattern Keeper would tell me how many stitches, but I don't know. I didn't look. Basically, I just did... <laughs> how do I, I like do it. this? Basically, I just did... Um... <laughs> this is fun to watch. I could totally help you, but this is more entertaining. I know. I basically did... There was some um, confetti stuff in here that I hadn't done yet. So I did that, and then I did all of this down here. So it wasn't too much. I mean, it would it was probably less than 50 stitches. So this is my universum jar. I hope to get a lot more done on it since I'm going to start bringing it to school again. We're going to see. We're going to try. Granny. Granny. Granny, you know who you are. If you're watching, you need to stop. And you're going to need to go to this time so that way I'm done talking about this thing that you can't see. Okay? So fast forward to this time. Granny. No cheating. No. I will know. I will know. Okay, everybody else. So, um, I did start stitching, actually stitching, on my little flamingo ornament. Let me see it. I want to see it. I want no. to see it. Well, and I, have, I need your opinion because oh. of exactly the problem that we had before. The beads are kind of in the way. But. I'm good at opinion eating. Yeah, yeah, you are. Um, and stuff. <laughs> this I did start bringing to school before, cause I have I have one class oh, Monday. Don't look yet. I have one class. Kidding. I have one class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I I always get there an hour early, just cause I have to, cause of traffic, and uh, so I started bringing this so that way I could work on it. So I've been working on it. But if you will recall, the I think in our haul video when we we're talking about Mill Hill, I was explaining that I don't like. The way they do the DMC mm -hmm. because it's hard to tell what colors are what colors. Medium blue, dark blue, dark medium blue. Exactly. So for the um, butterfly that I did, it was pretty straightforward. Like I had to lay them all out because there were three or four different oranges, but it was pretty clear. This one, I'm still not sure 
I, I've been stitching and I, I'm just gonna go with it because it looks good. So let me show I can you. Help you. Let me show you. That's what it looks like. Oh, you block it so I can't see. Sorry. Give it a second. Give it a second. Okay. There you go. <gasps> so. I mean, pretty. it looks like a flamingo, right? I love all those colors. It looks like, like a flamingo, I'm right? Snag nab it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, looks like a flamingo. Okay. That but is so pretty. Here's the thing. All of these are straightforward, except for light coral and medium coral. I would agree with what you have done, Hillary. I agree. Move your face. <laughs> you agree with yourself? Good to know. No, no, no. Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> I, I did a half a second video. So You're still recording. Yeah, yeah I know. That's good. To? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is my goal. <laughs> so it, it actually does look lighter now that it's in a smaller thing. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think I've stitched with this one yet either. But they looked exactly the same color when they were, when it this was more. Didn't tell you how many strands of each? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, and so I tried to figure it out based on like if I would need to use like light for any of the beading because there was more of this one, quote unquote, than there is of this one. Um, but it didn't really make sense. And then, if you want to make things even worse, we pull this out. Yeah, I'm not going to show that. If you look down here with the things, um, see that's all with medium coral, so that makes mm. it think, okay, so that I did do it right. Mm -hmm. But look at, there is medium pink. I know. Medium pink is not pink. a thing. Huh. Weird, huh? Hmm. Yeah. So, I don't, I, I'm going, I don't know if that means light coral. I don't know if that just means pink. I figure I'll just do whatever looks right. It doesn't matter what's right as long as I do whatever looks right. Good to me, right? Yeah, I agree. But there's just so little of this light cor coral, and there's a lot of the medium coral, but I'm telling you they look like the exactly same color. You might have to cut part of that out, because I turned that around to read the back, and they may have been showing the pattern. blur. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I meant. So you mean like, yeah, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's no medium pink. It doesn't even say medium pink up there. No, uh-uh. Because it's not a thing. Huh. And like, look, like I mixed them together. Which one's which? can't see. They're both the same color. I'm telling you they're the same color. So it's probably okay. I'm I just saying okay. I don't think they gave me light coral and I'm not sure what I should do for medium pink. I think you're good. Okay. I think you got this. I really like it. So pretty. I mean, I'm working on it. It's getting there. Welcome back, Granny. <laughs> Do you okay. have anything else? That is, that is all that I got done. Okay, I have some haul. Although, a little haul is here. Let me. Toasty in here. I know. This is the only room that's like hot. So I got my antique white. This is what it's supposed to look like. That's what it looks like. It's not that bad in this room, but if you undo this and undo that. Is that enough undo? -all? No. Is that enough undo? -all? No. <laughs> it's really thin and it really, really white. Thin. And now when you look, you can see better that it's... And it's not that it looks bad because it doesn't... Whoa, whoa, don't go, don't go, don't go, no going. don't go. Because that, that color... Yeah. It doesn't look bad. No, it's fine, but it's white Nothing and you don't like doing bad. it on white. Yeah, but here's what I discovered last night when I was essentially yelling at your father that I was frustrated. All of this... Do you have a phone? This is going to be yeah. easier with this phone. Yeah. Unicorn. Ready. Okay, all of this outside area, that's that color I just showed you. That's this. That's actually stitched. Um, it's a half stitch and this is the fabric color in here so this is like slightly darker and then this is slightly lighter so the one I had bought before he liked he thought this was a better this one he thought this one was a better option but it's not 
because I don't think this goes well with it at all. Mm. And definitely it's not going to do that. This is lighter thing. Yeah. So my options as far as I can tell would be to use this, which I had all along. <laughs> We'll try to dye this to match this, so at least it's the right color, but a softer fabric. Yeah. So I think I'm going to try it this weekend, but I'm not sure. But in the meantime, the fabric didn't travel alone. Oh no, it did not. But, that brings me to my other... Oh no. <laughs> I got my 3608, which was the one that I Stole soiled out of my master's set. I got two of these because I thought if I didn't have it one time, I may as well get another one. It's a, such a pretty color. <laughs> you know what the problem is? What? DMC changed the labels. What do you mean? This doesn't match the DMC label anymore. Oh. Not for that master set. Used to have black lines. Doesn't have oh. the black lines anymore. So now I have one that doesn't match. You've really soiled the set. Yeah. It's clear yeah. because this is going to be a... So either I need to find a slightly older 3608. Hmm. Well, Dad suggested sliding this off mm -hmm. and sliding the other I one on. That, but that. I, I don't think It'd they hard. slide like that. My I think the glue... Hey, let me see. Well, I won't do it. But I think the glue is mostly on this one, like usually yeah. where it gets stuck. Yeah, yeah but trying see. to get all that end back in and not be all... You could do it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm I feel do. like if you just went to Michael's, they probably have I know. all of ones. That's what I'm hoping. But I just don't get to Michael's very really often. But I do need it. I for think this. they have grab bags right now. A lot of do people they? have been posting about it. Yeah, so now might be a good time to do it. Halloween? I don't know. So, okay, you guys don't even think I'm weird for getting this, but I looked through 100 pages and this was actually what I liked the most. And, and I know it's like the 80s. I know. I don't know what fabric I'm going to do it on yet, but I just really liked it. <laughs> it looks even Cute. better print version. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like it'll look better stitched than it does, uh... What am I trying to say? Not, Not stitched. Stitch. <laughs> it's called, uh, Who Ate My Ice Cream? It's a Vicky it's such a you name. collection. <laughs> and it's all these cute little chickens. Little birdie chickens. And there's lots of colors. Yeah, and the back is That's very pretty. satisfying. But I actually got something else too. Which blew away the other night when I was trying to look at it. This is my big toe. And it says there's nothing to feel but feel itself. And spiders. And that is so true. So true. I do oh. not like spiders. <laughs> and then I got all the the floss Flip it and so the... Take a picture real quick. Is it too shiny? No, okay. I'm trying to get the name in there. But I have all the pretty flosses and the little, there's a little thingy. A little... <laughs> thingy. You're gonna have is that to like play. a cherry? I don't know what it is. I like Let's it. see, it goes on the little thing right like there. Oh yeah. But I have all my week's dye works. Which is interesting because Slightly off topic, but slightly on topic. Christine, stitch all the things. You know, we're doing that Christmas sentiment mm -hmm. style thing, which I still don't know how to do a hashtag, but she's picked a hashtag now, so... Okay, now that it, one step closer. Yeah, so now you'll have to show me what to do. Sure. Did. Anyway, she mentioned this last time. By the way, I don't like lamb's wool linen, so I switched it out. And I don't like Weeks Dye Works, so I switched out the color. Oh, I'm like, that's cheating! That's cheating! You get me to do it with you and then you cheat? <laughs> so I thought of her when I pulled these out in the little week's dye works, but... They're all the pretty colors. Have you used it before? I have. Do you, the, are you uh, okay with them? Yeah. That snowman thing I just did. Oh. Pretty mm -hmm. sure. Pretty sure that was week's dye works. Yep. Baby yep. Lily Ultraviolet Blue Vaunt Blah 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 and love. blue bonnet and love. So yeah, I did just use them and they were fine. I'm not picking one her because she didn't like them. I'm just saying that's cheating to not tell me ahead of time. Maybe maybe I didn't like them either and I didn't know. How am I supposed to stalk you when you change things on me? <laughs> that's bad, Christine. It's supposed to be predictable. I'm sorry, Wombie. <laughs> so, 
those are my my little haul projects that's cool but if i do dye that fabric this weekend i'll video it if it goes well if it doesn't <laughs> you'll never see it i think that's all i have except oh if you don't like birds, did you know those people are actually like scared of birds? I saw two yeah. fox troopers discussing birds. Sarah's in the last a little week. afraid of birds. My birds won't come get you. It's okay. Mm. Although if you don't like birds, you are not watching me right now because you <laughs> haven't liked any of the episodes. <laughs> um, you've seen Kona. She's the the red one, and you've seen Ami. You saw him on the last video. He's the African gray. The cages are side by side, and. Yesterday, was it yesterday? Because I told yeah. you about it. I think, I it, was think it was yesterday. Yesterday morning, I, um, if you only hear for stitchy stuff, thank you for coming by. <laughs> Done with stitchy stuff. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> um, okay, so I walked into the bullet room and Kona was wet. She wasn't just moist, she was sopping wet, dripping wet. She was in her water dish, feathers, wings, legs, neck. She was wet. And I look at her, she's just dripping. She looks evil too, and she's all wet. She's like all kind of like scraggly, and she's like looking at you like, well, You know, I'm one wet. of the first times she bit me, she doesn't bite often, but she's bitten me before, and it's not fun. It is painful. It was because she was doing that, and I said, oh, Queenie, do you want to take a shower? And I was about to take a shower, so I reached in so she could step up, and then I was going to take her for the shower. She, <clears throat> don't pick up a wet Queenie. She's like, I'm taking my own shower. Leave yeah. me alone. Don't touch me. I learned my lesson. I haven't done it since. We're all good. So she's all wet. And I look over at Ami's cage, and I don't see him. And I'm like, Ami, where are you? And I see him by his water dish, and he is never back by his water dish. When he sees me, he comes to the front of the cage, he wants me to rub his little head, like, this is weird. And I realized that he is standing on his water dish, and he has one foot that he's like slapping around in the water and like making stew, but he's fluffing up, he's all puffy, he thinks he's doing what Colin is doing, only he is dry as a bone, except for like the one toenail. So I think, okay, I have to get my camera. So I ran and I got my phone and I came back, but he made a couple pig noises, which is super cute. And he said, boop. And he did a little more of the toe and, but I, I didn't get any really super good video. That's a wet cleany tiki. It's really wet, huh? It's a wet cleany. What about the arms? What's the army doing? just trying to be cool. Oh, I know. What about you? You got anything exciting going on? You went to the drive? I was going to call it the drive through And that <laughs> is not exciting. Through. People go to the drive through all the time. <laughs> That's true. Um, so Jacob's a firefighter and um, he's been working a lot this last month. A lot. Which is to be expected. It's fire season. Good money. He's a firefighter. Yeah. California. Yeah, we money. have a lot of fires. So he was gone three or four days and then he came home yesterday. Um, but we decided to go in the drive in. Um, and Jacob has had this idea for a while to convert the back of the Jeep into a, like a, a bed kind of thing so we could go camping and then have like the Jeep be a bed. So he's actually able within an hour to kind of like rig up like a little prototype of what he wants to do. So it was basically a plywood sheet and then he bolted it, uh, bolted a metal thing. Doohickey. Doohickey, so that way it was a little tougher. And then we attached it to one of the brackets in the back. A thingamabob? It, it, yeah, because we took out the back seat. 
So that way we Just have space. Just to be clear, the doohickey was attached to the thingamabob. Right. That's important. <laughs> um, um, and then we attached it to the uh, seatbelt hook thing. So the board was stuck here. And then we took cushions from our sectional sofa and uh, put those all up in there. And we got a blanket and stuff. So um, it was really comfy. It was really cool looking. Everyone else was jealous at the drive-in, obviously, because... They're Kylie's sitting in their comfy. they're sitting in their cars. Well, I was telling Jacob in California, most of the time you drive a lot. And it's not really necessarily distance, but it's definitely time. If you have time. to drive somewhere, you're probably in your car for at least an hour at a time. At least, generally. Um, and so, I don't understand why people would want to go to a drive-in and then sit in the driver's seat longer. Like, for four hours, because two oh, movies. Comfy. So that's why I made the back of the Jeep. Plus it's hot. It's always hot. No, and then all good. of a sudden, it's cold. It is, it's like, cold. hot, 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 hot. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So we went to the 99 cent store. We got all kinds of snacks. We went to El Pollo Loco to actually get a real dinner. Real dinner. Uh, okay, I just want to point out that that sofa was expensive. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why I told Jacob, I said... Don't put it anywhere where it can get torn, because I'm really worried about the cushions oh, tearing. Filthy. Yeah. Yeah, you sent me that picture, and the first thing I said to your dad was, oh, I wouldn't pay that much for the sofa and then take it to the drive-in. <laughs> no, but it was so comfy, but it's still in the back of the Jeep, and I need to put it back on the sofa. I'm just sitting on two cushions, and like the rest of the sofa's gone, so I gotta put it back. He, left, with he you. left for work and left me to clean up everything. That's so, right. you know, that's okay, though. It's fine. So we went to the drive-in. It was really fun. We saw the Joker, not really a spoiler alert, but there wasn't really much of a plot, which it's his origin story, so it kind of makes sense, oh, I'm but... Oh, I'm <laughs> Whatever. It was okay. It wasn't a bad movie. It was just like... I'm not, I'm not nerdy, geeky, nerdy either, it's so cool. n not in not that like way. That. No. So it's just kind of like, I, I don't know, it wasn't what was that super movie? cool. Um, Hustlers? Hustler, Hustlers. I thought it would be interesting based on the written description of what it was, but I didn't realize it was the movie that it was because I had seen previews for that before. It has like um, J-Lo in it and the, the mom from Fresh Off the Boat, which was like really jarring to me. <laughs> It's like, because the husband for Fresh Off the Boat is the uh, guy from the Kim Jong-un movie. And it took forever for me to disassociate him from this nice guy and yeah. Fresh Off the Boat. So that whole family is in all kinds of movies that just messes with your yeah. expectations of them. We ended up moving, leaving actually early. It wasn't that the movie was bad, it's just like... It's late. It's, it's really late. late. It's, it's late. You're the child. Yeah, because it starts at like 10. So yeah. it's like... We were really yeah. there to see Joker, but it, it's nine dollars per person, so it's like about the same price as a movie theater, which is why it's a good deal if you're seeing two movies, because yeah. you can bring in your own food, your own snacks, you can make a bed in the and back of so your car. car. <laughs> right, exactly. But if you're only going for one movie, it's kind of like, why didn't you watch the movie in a high quality setting? So, um, so we always try to stay for two, if not three, sometimes. Sometimes we sneak over onto another Shh, lot don't say and then that. just find the radio station for the movie. Because they do the first movie, the second movie, and then they replay the first movie. I swear we don't put copyright laws with stitching. <laughs> no, no, we no, no. We might no. see three movies. We're that both we... we're both very, very rule follower people, and I freaked out the first time Jacob did it, but I mean Okay. Who stays the for truth. the first movie a second time? Well we were in high school. I met my husband in high school. When we were in high school, we went on a date to the drive-in one time, mm -hmm. and we had a third person with us. Just and they friend. hid in the trunk, didn't they? <laughs> the friend and I both hid in the trunk. <laughs> Jacob tries to get me to do it every time. He stops behind the... There's like a curve before you get to the ticket booth. He always stops. He's like, would you get in the back? I'm like, no. No one goes to the drive-in by themselves. No yes, one goes by themselves. They essentially had to stop me. And then the other guy, I'm not picking on anyone that's heavy at all. But he was a very, I mean, probably close to 400 pounds. Wow, and he's yeah. in the, the trunk and I'm in the trunk and we were shoved together. And I thought I was going to die. And, and I kept Plus trying. this is breaking the rules. Yeah. And it's only like. 
like it probably wasn't even nine dollars back then. No, it was probably like four dollars. Yeah, I think so it like, was nothing. Why are we even like? <laughs> It was a muscle cold and it had like an exhaust leak and I mean I don't know why we didn't die. And then what does that look like when he finally picks a spot and then like <laughs> unloads people <laughs> all the clowns come out. Yeah. Well with us I mean the Jeep's pretty small, it's all closed up and we have four or five couch cushions jammed in the bag, so he's like, you could just crawl in the couch cushions. I'm like, but why? It's only nine dollars. Like it doesn't make sense. No yeah. one goes alone. <laughs> so if you if you watched this, thank you. If you okay. come back, thank you. If you knew, hi. <laughs> we didn't mention it, but we hit 200 subscribers too. So, ooh, 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 ooh. and I probably asked a few of you. I apologize. Oh, you know what I wanted to mention? If you do comment and you get a like, oh she yeah, saw it. Typically, if I get like a love. It's because I saw it. And then one of us will comment, sometimes both, but usually usually it's me, but we put the little whoop and then the letters. So if it's J, it's me. If it's A, it's not me. So thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll yes. see you next week, hopefully. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Lefty loose. Oh. Oh no. Hey look, I just found my need my needle. Oh, was that the missing one? Well no, I was missing oh. one downstairs. But oh, look, okay. I just found the needle. Great.